Ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, again for the uh, second uh, presentation of the elect elect Elector Electronica Fast Forward Startup Platform Forum. It's a forum, as I've explained uh, in the previous occasion. A forum is a marketplace, not just to buy things, but to listen to other people and to have vigorous discussions and, and to receive ideas from other people. Here's a guy who has ideas which go out, out of the earth, if so to speak. If you design electronics, you, are, you have a couple of easy things like temperature, haha, -ha, like humidity, haha, -ha, uh, radiation, okay, fair enough, and perhaps um, some people interfering with your work or whatever. In space, it's a totally different matter, isn't it, Kain? Go ahead, Kain. Exactly. Uh, good afternoon, also. thank you very much. Also. Uh, my name is Jaime Stella, the CEO from the German company Spectrum Aerospace, and I will speak about and the use of electronics in space. Also. Electronics in space is an exotic field, an exotic segment also from the electronics. Also, uh, only a few people know about also the effects of the radiation, for example, in the electronics, or uh, when you are missing air, also how to cool than also electronics. It's a very interesting topic, um, completely different also for the design as the electronic than on the ground. And uh, I want to show here that this is also, this is a small segment as you compare with the commercial electronics, but anyways, the market, also the market share, is also not so small, and the most interesting part is that this is growing constantly. I think this is a very interesting field, also for the people, also that like to design electronics, and not only than for the use in the ground, also also for the use in space. Also for this case, then you have to improve, then to think a little bit different, like to normally do than for the electronics design. As uh, so you can see here, for example, the mark potential of small satellites. Also, uh, maybe you heard also uh, about uh, companies trying to build uh, uh, satellite constellations, also uh, for communication, for remote sensing, on all these things. Also, uh, uh, this kind of companies also uh, use mostly commercial components. Also, uh, we can see here the also uh, how big is then the market for components for uh, for space for the space industry, and we can see also uh, it's very interesting also uh, for the the development of satellites also uh, 425 also uh, millions also uh, is not also uh, so big but it's a very interesting one, and we can compare this with the global market for space components also. Uh, we can see that also, for example, for telecommunication or for navigation, also all this electronic that is necessary for this kind of system are here, also calculated. Also, we can see also it is growing constantly, especially with the constellations that I mentioned. But also, uh, for electronic, also engineering is a growing market, uh, a very interesting one. Also, most of the people uh, didn't know if they can use um, commercial electronics for space. Also, uh, all electronic components uh, can be used also for space applications, but the question is how long can survive this component in space? Also, and the answer is easy, also, because the concept is not difficult to understand. Also, the only one thing that you have to do is you take them, you commercial components and you make a qualification also for a space environment. It means, for example, also the, the factor that is easy to understand is the radiation. Uh, also, for a radiation test, for example, we use a cobalt source also for gamma rays and uh, you irradiate the components also for a specific time. Also, it depends if you want to follow than standards or if you want to do on your own. Also in this case then also you irradiate then the components and you can at the end of the test for example know 
how long this component can survive in space, let's say for six months, one year, three years, five years, or longer. Also, and uh, also, it is very interesting also to inform you that there are commercial components that are really able to survive three or five years in space without special design, because indeed it exists and also high rail components, also a special component for space uh, systems, but they are very expensive. Also, we can compare here, for example, also here are the pure commercial components and they are the ITA component or high rail. Also, they are the components used for military systems. Yeah? And uh, these space codes, they are then also a product from uh, my company Spectrum. Also, they are com codes but qualified for space. I will come back to this point then later. Also, you can see here, for example, also the cost. If you can buy a memory chip down, uh, uh, in a shop for 15 euros, then it can cost also a high rail version than uh, 10,000 euros. Also, only one. And a FPGA uh, cost or a processor, it can cost down 100,000 euros, 50,000 euros, only one chip. Also, but. It is really interesting to see that with the commercial one where you pay maybe 10 euros, 50 euros, then you can do the same with a BESA as a performance, uh, so long you know how long this component can survive in space. Also, this is the only one trick. There's no, nothing special. The idea is really very simple to understand. But you can com see this. Also, and in case you want to build a space system and you need a special components, also you need a permission, uh, you know these import restrictions, also, and this is really complicated. Also, this is a lot of work paper here, and also very expensive. Also, the use of uh, commercial components have also many advantages. You know? Also, you can see that the performance, for example, uh, of commercial components are higher than the uh, military one. Why? Also, for the military application, for example, you need really very robust technology. But this robust technology is not done, has not the best performance. Yeah? Uh, and that is the big difference. Also, if you can use then, then the really last generation processor or memory, for example, then uh, you have then also more advantages than the current space systems. Also, it's uh, difficult to understand this because uh, you think normally as a satellite is high tech, but I can tell you also you have in such satellite the electronic you need. Also, if you don't need more performance, then it's not necessary to improve it. Also, you can see here, for example, also uh, uh, there exist also qualification standards, also from the NASA or uh, from the European Space Agency, and uh, have also uh, many kinds of uh, advantages. Also, if you compare this with the military parts, with the high rail components. Also, the high rail components or components qualified for space have also uh, application in different uh, market segments. Also, not only for space cells, also you can see, for example, here in power plants, yeah? or for nuclear medicine. Also, maybe you hear that, uh, for example, uh, these X ray uh, scanners, also you have to. Uh, change the electronics from time to time also when you are doing the maintenance because then the, this radiation destroy slowly than the component, the electronic cells. Also, and this is something similar also la, that you can have to take care of also for space systems, also laboratories, aeronautics. Also, uh, if, you are, uh, if you fly, for example, also you receive then 10 times more radiation dose than here on the ground. Also, and this destroys also very slowly, but it destroys the electronics in the airplanes, for example. Okay, the space cost is product from a company, also there are only commercial components, selected commercial components, 
that was qualified for space. Also selected why? Because I told you that there are some commercial components that are reliable in space. Also it can survive five years and so but you have to know for sure that which technology is adequate for that or uh, which company have better products or better materials. Uh, and you get this information only well, from the experience because also maybe you hear also that universities uh, launch already done uh, experiment satellites done in space and they use also commercial uh, components. You can find in internet, for example, which controller, which processor, which memory were used and how long then the mission uh, so was operational. Uh, so all this information also uh, is here in this kind of product, uh, so where you can then acquire it and build your own space system, let's say, and you know how long these components can also uh, work properly in space. The space technology is growing, especially with the small satellites. And uh, for the future, uh, new products and new services will be needed also. And this is a good opportunity as a, for electronic designer as a, to see also in this direction to space. Because also innovation also with commercial parts for space application is a new field and very promises. Also, I can recommend you to look on that. It is very interesting, it's uh, different like the standard electronics and uh, with a mixture of commercial components and then uh, the concept of how uh, special uh, space systems work then will help you also to understand and to improve your own electronics if you are also a designer. Also, this is a good and uh, so very interesting field. I can tell you that a lot of commercial components are really robust enough for short missions, short missions also one year, five years for example. And uh, one comparison is you buy for example this uh, military component, one of these components can maybe survive in a low air orbit also for 100 years. Also, but also you see that for a short mission of a few years, then to have so a robust component is not so sensible. Also, you have to be more efficient, and you see that then the military components doesn't match with the requirements also that you need then for future small satellite systems. Also, in this case, then this is a big opportunity also for commercial components where you don't need to invest really a lot. Uh, this is electronics, as you know, because it's usual. And this is a new field where you can really also contribute with your own ideas and with your own designs. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, everybody. Thank you, Chaim, for no, taking us out of this world for a, for a couple of minutes. Yeah. With uh, and as we've seen, um, it's it's way more difficult to design electronics for use in space than it is uh, in Germany uh, or on the planet as well. Okay. Jaime is, uh, has been very modest, really. Oh, yeah. And uh, yes, you forgot something, yes, Jaime. Yes, if you want to understand more about space system, about the qualification of the components or how uh, this technology was developed, then uh, so you can find here in my book yes. and this follow this guy it. with a white shirt wave your, raise your hand and go get your books perhaps you exactly. will sign them Chaim yes you will sign them this afternoon or will you yeah, yeah. okay personally thank you. <laughs> thank you very much okay thank uh, you very much yeah, thank you very much everybody and the next presentation will be like 1500 hours I forgot uh, whatever thanks for being here thank you very much <laughs>